I was always told nothing good ever happens after dark or 2 a.m. or somewhere around there except for Pac-12 football with college pick of the week. George Shahuri, Eric Eager alongside. We are returning to the Pac-12 brought to you, of course, by MyBookie.ag. And this week, we're headed to Palo Alto. Nothing like a night game in Palo Alto at Stanford. Stanford welcomes in Utah. They are five-point favorites, and we have them covering that spread. Biggest reason why is what? Yeah, I mean, just like last week, we think Utah is probably a little bit further down the list at 49th in our power ranking. We have Stanford as 14th. Stanford coming off a couple bad games in a row. We think the market's overreacting to that. As you said, we have it more like a seven-point game than a five-point game. We'll get into specifics here in a second, but before we do, I have to tell you, I'm contractually obligated because I care for your well-being to tell you that you take this information and then you need to go to mybookie.ag. It is the only place to go to put all of the information you get here to good use. Mybookie.ag offers every bet type you could possibly want. They have in-game live betting, great customer service, and they make it easy to cash out. That's why we use it and you should too. Use promo code PFF to get a dollar for dollar match on your first deposit. PFF plus mybookie.ag. It's simple. You play, you win, you get paid. All right, for me, the big difference here is the quarterbacks. KJ Costello, Tyler Huntley. As our good friend Yogi Roth said on the broadcast last week, Tyler Huntley's got to make at least three big boy throws or what we would call big time throws in order to compete. I don't think that changes here because the Cardinal are the better team, as you said. They do have a good offense. They have a couple of good weapons that we'll talk about. So my question to you is this. Big boy throws, can Huntley make them? Uh, I think at his current rate, Huntley's going to have to throw 200 passes on Saturday night to get three big boy throws or big time throws. And nah. I, I just don't see that happening. You know, the big thing here is Utah's defense. We talked about that last week as one thing that worried us. And they certainly are good. But last week, they were had by Gardner Minshew in Washington State in our pick of the week. And this was despite the fact that Washington had no balance offensively. They had zero, you know, by the book rushing yards and really 19 yards by their back. So Utah's defense is not that big of an impediment. And then and when you get to the quarterbacks, obviously Costello, he's averaging, you know, you know six and a half percent big time throw rate. You know, so he's a far better quarterback. And as you said, that's going to move the lever here. One of the things I like about Costello is he's coming off of a Notre Dame defense that might be one of the best in the nation. And he yep. gets to go home where he controls the snap count a little bit more. He's going to feel more comfortable. His line will feel more comfortable and he will have more clean pockets from which to throw, yep. which will allow him to get guys like J.J. Arcega Whiteside, the number one graded wide receiver in the Pac-12, a little more of a chance, get him some of those end zone fades. I think that is a big difference yep, here. Right. Another thing I like about Costello is even when he makes critical errors, we talk about this a lot, he doesn't show any signs of back. getting down. He is basically the same quarterback before and after he makes one of those errors, which you like to see. I feel good about that going into this game. We saw that in the Oregon game, right? He got down huge, had everything in place, was able to come back methodically and took advantage of some good luck here. On this, you know, in this game, though, as the favorite, five points, it just doesn't feel like enough. On a neutral field, I think they're more than two points better than Utah. Yeah, and I think that that's what the power numbers would suggest, right? I think they're probably on a neutral field anywhere from three to four to five point favorites, and you're now giving them all of that at home. And so, yeah, I really like that. Costello, when he drops back to pass, is generating a quarter of an expected point. Every time Hundley drops back to pass, he's giving away about a fifth of an expected point. So, you know, just to put another number on that, I think that that difference is enough to, you know, handicap this game as about a touchdown. You out of numbers now? All right, I've got uh, four more for you here. Stanford 30, Utah 23, make it happen. Head to mybookie.ag and get your bets in as soon as you can.